all right so in this video i have not recorded the complete modeling process because to be honest there's a lot of redo and undo and there's no single process to model but i have saved the components at different stages and i'll share some tips that will hopefully help you in your modeling process so let's see the first one so this is the first model so these are all the stages and I started with a simple basic plane and I have added two deform modifiers first one in the X and second one in the Y and for all these components I have used mirror modifier then I have applied this modifier here except the mirror modifier of course and then I have used knife tool to cut these edges and delete the faces for creating this circular shape I have used loop tools so you can enable loop tools in your add-ons then to use it just select the faces that you want to make the circle Try to keep a square shape, then right click, loop tool, circle. For extruding faces along their normal, you can press Alt E and select extrude faces along normal. Now here you can see I have added another edge loop on the side. So for example, if you have extruded the faces, and you forgot to add that edge loop on the side now here you cannot add it because it was made through the loop tool circle so to solve this you can select these edges and bevel it control B and then select the inner edge and press GG to slide and C to slide it outwards then i added some thickness by extruding all the faces so i made this thickness and then with some selected faces this one then again with the knife tool i cut these faces and added these details now with this shape i have modified it like it is merging in the base shape so to merge the vertices together either you can select the merge tool or directly you can enable this auto merge vertices now if i select the edges and press gg to slide it all the way towards bottom it automatically merges the bottom vertices now to move these vertices i need to move them in this direction so gg slide will not work here rather we can go to this orientation and select normal now they can be moved towards their normal so g and drag and you can make the shape Then I started adding more smaller details. So one more good way of adding detail to face is inset. So you can just select the faces and press I to inset. And then use the extrude or any other tool to give the detail. During inset you have multiple options like in here. You can select offset relative so it will be relative to all sides or you can select individual so it will be on individual faces for creating the blades I have used very simple approach so I have started with this basic shape and I added again the deform modifier in two directions to make it look like a bent blade 
and then simply added array modifier with an empty to control the rotation. Finally, I added the solidify modifier to give it a thickness. To add some more details, I have added some simple parts like this directly. These are not merged with the base shape. These are just placed on top of it. Similarly, these wings. To create a circular shape in a place where you don't have enough geometry, you can use the bevel tool. So for example, if I want to add a circular shape here, I can just select this vertex and press Ctrl Shift B and just drag your mouse wheel and it gives you more edge loops. Now in the bevel tool options, select this shape and give it a value of 0.1 and it gives you a circular shape. Now you can select faces and press Alt E and extrude these. Now this method will give you n-gons of course like this face is an n-gon but as long as it is not giving you any weird shading issues it is alright. So for example if I see the shading it is okay. And for hard surfaces anyway you are not going to bend it like organic surfaces so this is okay. So for using it in Blender, you can leave it as it is. However, when you export these type of Ngons into a game engine like Unity or Unreal, these faces are going to get triangulated. So to make sure that that triangulation will not give you any surface issues, you can check that here. So you can go to modifiers and select triangulate. So here you can see there is no weird shading issue. Now that bevel option can also give you this type of concave shapes. So for example, in your default bevel, if you add the edge loops, you get a convex bevel like this. But if you again go to the bevel option, and make this shape 0.1 you get this concave bevel okay now let's see the other ones so this is the second one again I started with a very basic shape and with a mirror modifier and slowly added details. Here again I use the bevel, made some corners and finally added smaller details. Let's see the next one. So again in this one, I started with this basic box, added some details. Now in this one, I have used these two shapes and these are not merged together, but they are just put together in a way to look like one shape. So here if you see, I have made the corners parallel in both of these shapes but they are separate to each other. Finally I added all the smaller details, made these wings in the same way, these holes with the vertex bevel again added these extra details so these are different parts now at any time when you want to copy these parts on a different face for example this angled face you can just 
use these snapping options so here if you turn on this face project and turn on this align rotation to target let me duplicate it and let's go to object and set origin to geometry now if I move it with G and press control I can align it to this face now generally to keep the edges sharp you can select the shade auto smooth mode and in the data properties in normals you can select this angle to set the edges smooth however you may come up with a situation where the edges are still not sharp so for example this edge along this circular profile it is not sharp in the auto smooth mode so here you can manually sharpen it so just select the edge loop and press ctrl e and click mark sharp now there may be some situations where you want to move some faces or features in a particular direction which may not fall in these categories so for example if i want to move this feature along this particular edge i cannot use any of these feature like global normal because it will either go inside or outside so in these cases what you can do is just select the edge along which you want to move and then click this plus icon and now this is the orientation now you can select the feature and move it along this now this is the last one so this one is pretty straightforward so I started with a simple sphere then I added details I deleted the 75% of this so only a quarter of this sphere is here and I am using again the mirror modifier in all the directions then here I separated this middle part just to add some more subdivisions in this and then again joined it back together these smaller details are single pieces that are arrayed in the circular direction and similarly here I use the same vertex bevel option now wherever you have this type of circular geometry or a clean edge loop geometry you can get the advantage of selection so for example if I want to select the alternate face here I can just shift click the alternate face and then press ctrl shift plus and it will continuously select the next selection similarly if I select this face and shift select the fourth face again it will remember the last selection and if I press ctrl shift plus it will select the next selection all right so with all these basic techniques I have created uh, these simple low poly drones so here I have uh, tried simple colors so one of this blue with gray shades and here I have tried golden yellow with white and also for the exhaust I have created this basic shape with the noise texture and alpha hashed so it looks like an exhaust and as always this blender file is available to download I'll put the link in the description. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.